All right, so this is just a quick thing. Um, M17s, got an ABC M17, M17A1 in large. I know it says M, but come on, I've already been over this. You should know by now. And another A1. It's cur uh, currently on a Schreiber table from the 70s. It's been left out in the fucking sun. So ignore the paint chips and try to ignore the sounds of building works. Because those bastards have not shut the fuck up in just months at this point, and I'm done trying to work my schedule around them. So, I'm just going to pop the hood off for of this one, because I'm going to need it off. So you may notice that there's something tucked in the lens of the size large. Oh, right, I need to take the outserts off. Oh, right. right. Left. Doesn't matter, actually, I just like to them myself. It's very sunny so I'm going to try and minimise the amount of direct sun exposure these poor bastards get. So I actually got an offer from uh, Steeler's Wheel, uh, or Wheel of Fortune, whichever name he wants to go by, who I consider to be a very good collector, a good viewer, a good patron. Uh, he's actually bought a lot of things from me in the past as well, and he's been a good sport about it. Because he's uh, actually repaired a lot of the stuff that I've sent him. It's a wonderful job. He offered me some valves from a Polish MUA kit, uh, because he said they would be viable for the M17 series inlet valves as a replacement. I kept wanting to take him up on his offer, but I also kept forgetting. If I turn the brightness, will that be... God, that is obscene, isn't it? I'm going to leave it like that for a moment. So I'm going to need to pop this off to show you what I mean. Not that, of course, you'd want some sort of tool to pop it off. I wonder if I might just go get a butter knife. Alright, butter knife. There we go. Ah, I forgot about that one. That one's missing. Top there. So pop you back on. And if we have a look at the size large, I always wondered why that just come right off. This has completely dried and cracked. Um, so recently, though, as I kept meaning to take up, I'm going to call him Wheeler, um, Wheeler's offer, uh, I just, honestly, it just kept slipping my fucking mind. And then, I never needed it anyway. Um, the replacement valves came up on eBay, a man with a box of 100 brand new ones. Which is what I've got here, so I wanted to do a quick replacement jobby while the wind blows over my tripod and away the fucking valves. Piss off, nature. You've had your shit. You've had your day. Right. Pin that down there. And I don't know what I'm going to do with these old ones. Probably just discard them. Um, I'm just going to put them in my phone case for now. Place these new ones over here, pin them down with one finger, and pop them back on. And there we go, a brand new valve. Now, I don't have to... Where's it not? I don't have to bother with these ones, because for some reason the ABC ones are in perfect condition. And yes, I know, no review, but I don't know, I've been meaning to get to it. This one's only by MSA, though. All of these are by MSA. So, that's one valve done. Let's flip you over. And there you go, another crispy boy. This one's actually not too... Uh, no, never mind. It's completely cracked around the inside. I just heard it all crinkling. So, I'm going to pull that off and put it inside of my phone case. Uh, where have I put those? Okay. Don't do me dirty, wind. Don't do me dirty. And there we go. There's no particular side to these, so pop that back on. And there you have it. M17 with brand new valves. This is the large, so I'm going to quickly pop this on. Get some wood chippings off of it. And see if it's still 
There we go. The uh, exhale valve sticks on this, I forgot about that, because the A1 has two valves and one of these is damaged. The M17, or ABC, only has the one. So. Yeah, lovely. Finally, so that actually finally seals now. That's wonderful. And of course, similar problem with this A1, which is actually going to the man who bought me this. Uh, he said, uh, you know, he got me the medium as a gift. When we found out it didn't fit, a large came up on eBay. We weren't that fussed at first. We were like, oh, hey, this is another M17 on UK eBay. Hey, does that look like the mark of the uh, misprint L to you? Is that like the, uh, the large, the secret large? And we were like, nah, it can't be. And then like, 10 minutes away from the end of the auction, we realised that he'd posted a picture of the oral nasal cup which said large, we were like, oh fuck, this changes the game. And so the agreement was, I'll give him back the medium, which is a full kit which he's going to use for his uh, Vietnam era kit, and I get to keep a large with no accessories because I don't need them. Personally, I'd much rather have a large ABC, because I don't need all the little bells and whistles. I am so paranoid that I'm going to snap off something from the A1. Uh, this is a medium, so it's not going to fit me too well. I'm going to turn back on autofocus to bring back down the brightness now that I'm done. I'm just going to see if this thing is signaling as well. Lovely. <coughs> I think it tastes like fucking uh, grape juice. I'm starting to think that the old musty grape juice taste that hurts my lungs is uh, chromium. Uh, obviously that's not as huge of a threat as it sounds, but uh, it's, it's rather horrid. Okay, so there we go. Valves replaced. I will leave a link to the eBay listing in the uh, pinned comment because other people in the UK might need them. So, ABC medium, A1 large, A1 medium. And uh, like I gotta say, thank you to Sealer's Wheel for the wonderful offer that I kept forgetting to take him up on. And I deeply regret, because I would have actually liked to have seen alternative options for valves. That would have been really cool. But uh, for now, this is the best I can do. So, thank you kindly.